It is a, a sad thing to know that the vast majority of people are going to hell. That's what the Bible tells us. Wide is the path that leads to destruction. Many are there that find their way on that path. Narrow is the path that leads to righteousness. Few are there that walk that path. Most people are not on the path that leads to heaven. Most, which means most people are going to hell. That's what the Bible says. This should break our hearts. Why? It breaks the heart of God. Ezekiel chapter 18, God says, I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies, says Lord God. Therefore, turn and live. If there, there's an exclamation point at the end of this, in this power from God, turn and live. I want you to live. And you and I have the gospel, which is the source of, for eternal life. It is the belief in Jesus Christ. We have this, and we got to share it with people. Let me give you a statistic from Barna Research Group. This is sad to me. And some people might say, well, this, there's a majority. This is good. But take a look at this from Barna Research. Amongst born-again adults, 55% claim to have shared their faith in Christ with a non-Christian during the prior 12 months. So in the past year, 55% of all Christians, born-again Christians, there's no other kind of Christian, by the way. <laughs> There's not. Um, 55% have claimed to have shared their faith in the last 12 months with somebody who doesn't know the Lord. Now, I'm going to believe that that doesn't represent us. I believe we have an on-fire bunch of people here. But if we look across the world, the, the church as a, as a whole, you know, people that claim to be Christians, if you were to put them in a room like this and look around, one Almost one out of every two has not done it in the last 12 months. And the question is, what are we talking about then? Like, what are we, what are we telling people? What are, we, what are we sharing with people? You know, the Bible says in Luke's gospel that out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth is going to speak. If that's not coming out when we're talking to non-believers, then what's, what's the abundance what is our heart consumed with and overwhelmed with? If it's not pouring out of our mouth, it's not there, according to God's word. Out of the abundance, the mouth speaks. So if, we're, if, if we go a whole year and never talk to somebody about Jesus, that's a problem. Are we sharing our faith with us, knowing that they're going to die and go to hell if we don't? Are we sharing our faith with others?